Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Brit Reacts, and today we're going to react to OJ Simpson has passed away at age 76 in the best moments of Norm MacDonald. The OJ Simpson jokes that got Norm canned from SNL. See what happens. Well, jurors for the OJ Simpson case were asked to fill out a 75 page jury questionnaire this week. In the entire state of California, only one person got a perfect score Chow Ming Wu, who after the trial plans to attend Caltech. What? <laughs> By the way, you can now purchase a bronze statue of the juice for only $3,395. And for an even five grand, you can buy one that Al Cowlings has kissed the ass of. <laughs> O.J. Simpson's new fitness video was released this week, and hitting the shelves next week, Simpson's newest video, Dorf on Stocking. What? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The crowd is torn. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I appreciate the fact that the crowd is not like, you know, leaning one way or the other. That's very real. That it shows that there are real people in the audience who have their real opinions. And I know I was very young when this happened, but I know just from things I've heard and watched, especially over the last couple of days since his passing, that it really was, the, the nation was charged in that way and it was very much so split. I think it is clear where Norm stood. Um, and I think, you know, I think it's interesting that he got canned for this. Cause it's like, mm, y'all could have just not aired it, I guess, but I know SNL is live. So never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's keep going. Also, it's just like, I mean, but if, if people, if, if, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's keep going. Some of these jokes are going over my head. According to retailers, the most popular Halloween mask this year is O.J. Simpson. And the most popular Halloween greeting is, I'll kill you and that guy who's bringing over your glasses or treat. <laughs> And the Pope came out with a book this week, which contains a series of essays examining faith and morality in today's secular world and the changing role of the Catholic Church as it approaches the 21st century. The book is entitled, God Himself Told Me That O.J. Is Guilty. We know it's not this In other book gone. news, Prince Charles released an autobiography in which he states that he never loved Princess Di and that his father pressured him to marry her. Yikes. The book is entitled, of course O.J. did it. I mean, come on. <laughs> in his book, O.J. Simpson says that he would have taken a bullet or stood in front of a train for Nicole. Man, I'm going to tell you, that is some bad luck when the one guy who would have died for you kills you. Oh. Let's go ahead. <laughs> you know, did he not have to submit these jokes before they aired or or was he just like, no, because they have the. So this is what I was trying to say. I don't understand. It's like they have the graphics up here. And so like they had to know. So how would why would he get fired is what I'm saying. I just don't understand. His jokes are, I think, way less carried by humor and way more carried by truth, which is why I guess some people had a hard time uh, swallowing that pill. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just interested to know. It's like y'all literally have these graphics up and you still f I, as if they didn't know these were. I don't I don't get that. I don't get, get worse luck than that. And OJ announced this week that he's coming out with a new book called I Want to Tell You. And if it's successful, O.J. will work on yet another book entitled From Football to Prison, My 25 Years of Showering with Other Men. Yikes. And finally, in honor of the 50th anniversary of their first publication, Random House will be releasing special commemorative issues of many Dr. Seuss classics. The first to hit the bookshelves will be Green Eggs and Ham and O.J. is Guilty. <laughs> Judge Ito was interviewed Anything this with a week book by a local TV station in Los guilty, Angeles, huh? asked by the interviewer if it was appropriate for a supposedly impartial judge to be on TV with his case still pending. Ito said, 
Maybe not, but how appropriate is it to kill your ex-wife? <laughs> It was revealed today that O.J. Simpson told police that Nicole Brown Simpson used to beat him up. He also claimed that she and Ron Goldman killed him. <laughs> Did he really claim that? Was that like really a part of the case? I'm with Norm on this one. It's like, uh, yeah, and she also like, shut up. <laughs> oh, Lord, this is, this is wild. This, this whole thing. O.J. Simpson's lawyers have decided to skip hearings on DNA evidence and go right to trial. Asked why they did this, the lawyers replied, we want to get O.J. acquitted as speedily as possible so he can get back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> well, let's get to O.J. O.J. Simpson's lawyers like say they don't want the families of Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman in the courtroom during the trial. What? They're afraid the presence of the family members will just remind O.J. of how much more killing he still has to do. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, O.J. Simpson's lawyers stopped feuding this week, finally. The Dream they Team, Emily Bailey and Robert Shapiro, were able to put aside their differences and express their admiration for each other after O.J. threatened to cut their heads off. <laughs> The audience is very interesting in this. I think this is the most interesting thing, like to listen to each audience. Some are all on boards. It's sometimes it's split. Sometimes it's like dead quiet, which means people don't agree. You hear a few boos in and out. That's so interesting to me. I didn't know. Again, I, I, I can admittedly tell you, I don't know a lot about this case. I've watched, you know, probably the same amount of things on it that the average person has my age um but i definitely don't know a lot but were were his counsel his lawyers arguing amongst each other interesting huh all right according to the national transportation safety board sleepy truckers are responsible for 1000 deaths a year in second place oj simpson oh, had two deaths a year <laughs> It was revealed this week that defense lawyer Johnny Cochran once abused his first wife. In his defense, Cochran said, Hey, at least I didn't kill her like some people I know. Oh, my gosh. Tomorrow, Judge Lance Ito will take O.J. and the jury on a tour of the now famous crime scene. For the what? jury, it will be their first look at the they actual location. There? Of course, for O.J., it will be just a case of been there, done that. <laughs> Judge Lance Ito was happy with the jurors' field trip to the crime scene last week. It went off without a hitch, said Ito. Not one murder. <laughs> O.J.'s pal Al Cowlings now has a 1-900 number. For $2.99 a minute, Cowlings will tell callers that O.J. is innocent. And for $3.99 a minute, he'll try to do it without laughing. And this week, Simpson defense law. I feel like I should have counted how many of these clips there were so that we knew just how many updates Norm talked about OJ in. There's a lot. I mean, a lot. I don't know what number we're on. If someone knows, write it in the comments. But uh, no, uh, OJ seemed to be Norm's hottest topic. And Norm was not letting up. Like, foot on the gas, honey, not letting up. <laughs> Lawyers questioned witnesses about a half-melted container of ice cream found at the murder site. The Simpson defense has oh. seized upon the ice cream for two reasons. One, it may help fix the time of the murders. And two, it was the only thing in the murder scene without any of O.J.'s blood on it. <laughs> to illustrate the point that their client is running out of money to defend him. Are I feel like mo like what he leads with are facts. Are these facts from the actual case that he leads with and then he, he you know, ends it with his ba dum boom Because is that true? The ice I like now I really want to like read a book on this. Hmm. 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 
To illustrate the point that their client is running out of money to defend himself, O.J. Simpson's lawyer said this week that if he had to do it over again, after killing his victims, O.J. would now rob them as well. The audience didn't like that it. That one you find troubling? He went, was O.J. Simpson high on speed the night of the murders? Absolutely not, said defense attorney Johnny Cochran today. And a simple test of any of O.J.'s blood found at the crime scene will prove it. I love that Norm like addresses the audience if they don't like uh, respond well. He's like that bothered you, but you know I like I I just think this man was brilliant and I don't want to use the word brave because I think that word is so lame in today's society. It's like you are so brave, but I think he was ahead of his time, and I think he. Uh, as the kids say these days, stood on business, meaning he stood on what he believed in and did not care actually what anyone's reaction or response was. And, you know, we could all, we could all use a little norm in our character, couldn't we? And OJ pal Al Cowling said this week that in looking for the truth in the OJ Simpson case, he sometimes talks to a picture of Nicole Brown Simpson. Something that in the past would have gotten him killed odd. by O.J. <laughs> F. Lee Bailey oh, said Lord. this week that if the defense only knew what Ron Goldman's last words were, they might be able to find the real killer. You know, if you ask me, Goldman's last words were probably, uh, Hey, you're O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh no, OJ has struck again. How about that? Are uh, these good thing. headlines true, you guys? And in court this week, Cato Kalin testified that OJ Simpson did not appear angry before or after the period of his wife's murder. But Kalin admitted he could have been a touch edgy while he was actually murdering her. <laughs> Might have been a. Hertz rental car company announces. I believe uh, Norm could single handedly be the like loudest advocate for Nicole. Like, I think he keeps reminding everyone in these jokes about Nicole, which I think a lot of what I've heard of about this case is like Nicole and Ron really got lost in the just ridiculousness of it all and I think Norm it feels like Norm is super intentional about continuing to bring it back to Nicole and and Ron in this way um like and how brutal it was which I up until recently I guess didn't even know how brutal it actually was which is just so heartbreaking so but I just think Norm is like leading the charge and advocating for her um and again, I think that's why it's like hard to laugh because it's so sad and gruesome and just awful. And all of it is awful. All of it is awful. And so, you know, it just is like hard to laugh, but they're great punchlines. They are. They are. I got to give it to them. Uh, Hertz rental car company announced this week that it will buy 520,000 vehicles increasing its worldwide fleet 24 percent. In addition, they will try to find a new spokesman who won't kill his ex-wife. Oh, was OJ their spokesman? <laughs> this week at the OJ Simpson trial, the infamous bloody glove was finally introduced into evidence, and OJ didn't help his case any by blurting out, there it is, I've been looking all over for that thing. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And a new shocker in the O.J. Simpson trial. This afternoon, Judge Lance Ito dismissed yet another juror, a 45-year-old African-American male, for failing to tell the court that he had once worked for Hertz Rent-A-Car and that he had once held Nicole Brown Simpson's glasses while O.J. killed her. Jesus. So these are clips of each week from SNL that Norm did Weekend Update that this case was relevant. It's a lot of weeks. It's a lot of weeks, folks. 
I mean, again, if someone's keeping count, let me know in the comments what, what score we're at right now. Um, again, is that headline true? Did they release the juror because he didn't tell them that he worked for Hertz, which I understand the conflict there. Uh, the second part, I think was a joke. <laughs> Dismissed Simpson juror Jeanette Harris revealed in interviews this week that the jury is torn by dissension and is already divided into two camps. Those who think he is guilty and those who are really, really stupid. <laughs> A bad week for the prosecution of the O.J. Simpson trial under intense cross-examination by defense lawyer Barry Sheck LAPD crime expert Dennis Fung admitted that he may have contaminated the crime scene when he accidentally dropped a big bucket full of O.J.'s DNA. No way. No Our way. Our top story tonight this week in the O.J. Simpson trial. After grisly photos of the murdered Nicole Brown Simpson were shown in court, O.J. turned his head away and wept. It was at that moment that he realized he would never be able to kill her again. Well, in a questionable move by the defense team this week, O.J. Simpson demonstrated how to stab two people at the same time. What? No way, that's not what that picture is. Remember 12 Angry Men, the classic courtroom drama? Well, oh, the first Jesus. film about the O.J. Simpson case is in the works. It's entitled Nine Angry Black People, Two Scared Asians, and a White Guy Who Hasn't Spoken Since Rosa Lopez. <laughs> Is that what the Testimony jury was comprised during the final of? week provided some spellbinding moments. In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, Hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. No. Yeah, friends, I think it's safe to say we know exactly where Norm stood on this one. Uh, yikes. I have a lot of questions. I asked them all because I, again, know very little about the details of this case. Whatever you know, share it with me in the comments and go and have the day that you deserve. Bye.